Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has a lot of different characters, and there is something to like about absolutely everyone. But conversely, there's also something to hate. Today I'm going to be going through every single Smash character and telling you my favourite and my least favourite thing about every single one of them. Let's go. Oh, and in case it's not obvious, this is all just for fun and it's my opinion, so if I hate on your character, don't take it too personally. The best thing about Mario is the combination of the cape and the flood. It is so funny to be able to hit people while they're in special fall and just send them careering off into the blast zone with nothing they can do about it. Makes me laugh every single time. The worst thing is that he has these really crazy combos into forward air that start at like 30% on the other side of the stage and then you just die and it feels like there's nothing you could have done about it. Spikes are fun. Donkey Kong has four spikes, so that's my favourite thing about it. Although the worst thing about him is that you will just get juggled all day and it's almost impossible to get out of disadvantage. You are just gonna get punted around for days. The way Link's bomb works in Smash Ultimate is so cool. You can use it as a combo tool, you can use it just as a projectile, and you can use it to recover from seemingly impossible situations. It's really cool and I really like it. Unfortunately, most people end up playing him as a boring projectile character, so that is the worst thing about him, that he has so much potential, but it just never seems to get reached. Playing Samus can be really fun because you can make a seemingly impenetrable wall of forward airs, zares, bombs, and missiles, and you can use that in order to charge up your charge shot to use later. It can make you feel really smart. Unfortunately, sometimes you just have to watch Samus slowly recover using her bombs when you knock her off stage. And it takes forever and it just feels terrible. Uh, I'm having trouble thinking of something for Dark Samus. Uh, you, c you can't get hit by Mario Dash Attack sometimes because you're weird and you you're floaty, I guess. And the worst thing is that nobody asked for this character and nobody asked for them to be a clone of Samus where you basically can't tell the difference. Because he has this weird egg shield, Yoshi can't actually get shield poked, which is actually really good. So that's something unique about him and something that I actually really like. And the worst thing about him is that mashing the A button just tends to solve all your problems in life. So it kind of makes him really frustrating to play against sometimes. I think something that everyone likes about Kirby is the inhale. You can just get so many different abilities. It leads to some really funny situations, so many unique things. It just means Kirby has so many different moves that are actually really fun. The worst thing about him, in my opinion, is that his special moves all seem really good when you're a new player, and then you play against one person who knows what to do against them, and then you find out that they really, really aren't. My favourite thing about Fox is that he's just so iconic to Smash. He's basically the face of the franchise at this point. He's fast, he's unforgiving to play as because he falls so quickly, he's famous from Melee, he was pretty decent in Smash Bros Brawl, good in Ultimate, good in Smash 4. He's just an iconic Smash character and I really like that. My least favourite thing about him though is that when you get hit by one up tilt, you just get hit by seven more and it just feels really bad. And so <laughs> I'm talking about this super skilled character and then you just get up tilted six times in a row. I might be biased because I main this character, but Pikachu feels so skilled when you do well with him. I know it can be not very fun to play against because of that, but when you're moving, you feel really cool. Probably the worst thing about him though, I even I admit this is a Pikachu main, is the pancake where you do a move, you flatten down because of the end of the animation, and then a move just completely misses you and flies over your head. Seems pretty unfair to me, because yeah, it is, that is pretty unfair. Best thing about Luigi is the random misfires. Worst thing about Luigi is the random misfires. If you have trouble getting kills, just play Ness. Every one of his moves seems to kill at like just over 100%. So many of his aerials, he's got the insane back throw, he's got really strong smash attacks. He's just a killing machine. The worst thing about him is that PK Fire is just inexplicably good. It's... <laughs> you get stuck in it and you just keep getting burnt and it feels terrible and you hear his annoying voice just screaming in your nightmares. Captain Falcon manages to hit this crazy sweet spot that I think a lot of characters miss where you're fast but you also have strong hits. They're just pretty hard to hit so he's got so many satisfying things and you can also feel like you're not playing while covered in honey like most characters with strong hits. This obviously has to come with the downside, and I think that it's just because you get comboed and you get jab locked so easily because of your fall speed and your weight. So many characters can just completely mess you up. 
Nobody can deny the Jigglypuff's rest is extremely cool. It's not as strong as it was in Melee, but I think that might actually be a good thing because it doesn't really over-centralize the character where you're only going for rest, you have to go for other stuff. And it still kills reasonably early, and I think that it is decent in terms of balance for the character. The worst thing about Jigglypuff though is that getting shield broken just kills you. It, it's not like every other character where you go into a stun, you just die. You're already one of the lightest characters in the game, you don't need to die any more than you already do, okay? That's just not necessary. E even if it is pretty funny. For some reason I just really like Peach's ability to pull random stuff out of the floor instead of turnips like bombs and Mr. Satins. It's kind of sad they removed the beam sword from that option, but you know, it's still really funny just being able to break someone's shield if they don't really know what Mr. Satin does because you probably haven't seen it too much before. The worst thing about Peach is that she's not only one of the best characters in the game, but she also has like the best Final Smash in the game for some reason, so if you're playing with Final Smashes on, prepare, prepare to have a bad time. If you're a Peach main, you are the most powerful person when you pick random. Because Daisy exists and you have twice the chance of getting your main. It, it, that's pretty good. But again, it's another unnecessary Echo Fighter with basically no difference to the original character apart from just a slightly more annoying voice. Why? Bowser really feels like he earns the title of the heaviest character in the game. He's super strong, the whole screen shakes when you run around and when you do a lot of your moves. He really just fits the theme of being a big juggernaut of a character and I think that's done really well. The worst thing about Bowser is that you can't hit a shield without getting whirled on. It's very annoying and uh, I feel like it's really brain dead as well because you see people doing it the worst time sometimes. I may be really bad at Ice Climbers but I cannot deny that the Ice Climbers make the most insane looking Twitter clips of combos that I can see out of any character ever. So much potential for those crazy stylish combos where I'm just looking at it going like, what is going on here? I, I don't know, but damn is that cool. But because of that, Ice Climbs is one of the hardest characters to learn, which is probably the worst thing about them. Because if you don't main the character and you get them on random, you, come on, you're going to have a bad time, you know that. When you play Sheik, you just feel like you're absolutely moving at all times, just zooming around, having a great time. It, it makes you feel like a professional player. The worst thing about her though is that all her moves do no damage. I've played lots of Super Smash Downs where you play with 10 HP, and it takes like 3 or 4 Sheik hits just to do 10 HP. It's, it's pretty sad. The best thing about Zelda in my opinion is the down air. The sour spot is huge and it usually is enough to kill people and the sweet spot is ridiculously strong and will just about kill anyone. Unfortunately, most Zelda players would not know this because the worst thing about Zelda is that everyone just plays her by only pressing B and it is a painful experience. Dr. Mario is just like Mario, but he's just cooler. Play this guy if you want some free street credit. I mean, only play him if you're okay with having the worst recovery out there. It's so bad, playing him can be just be a depressing experience if you put anywhere near off stage. Pichu is one of the only characters in the game with insane combos and good kill power. There is got to be a downside to this and his self damage mechanic is pretty nasty, but that's not the worst thing about him. The worst thing about him is the weight stat. You're going to die to stuff that you had no idea even killed in this game if you decide to play Pichu. Best thing about Falco? You can do this. Hands off my I just want to know why they made the up B so much shorter than Fox's. He's meant to be able to fly, right? Marth's kind of cool because he encourages careful spacing, patience, and really making sure you're choosing when to go in. Something a lot of players don't do is play defensively and actually think about their spacing, and playing Marth actually forces you to do that. It is a shame that he's kind of just worse than Lucina because of the tip of the mechanic though. We've done it. We've finally found an Echo Fighter that's actually different enough from their main character to warrant a spot on the list. Thank God for Lucina. Never thought I'd say that. Yikes. Although the worst thing about her is because she's just an upgrade of Marth, she kind of takes the cool mechanic from Marth and chucks it in the bin. I was kind of struggling to find something about Young Link here, but I asked a Young Link main and they said that any projectile that you hit can actually link into a combo. So you've always kind of got to be paying attention, seeing what hits instead of just spamming, so that you can actually follow up properly off it. 
Unfortunately, most players don't do this. They just play him super spammy, and it can be really frustrating to play against this character online because he's so fast and can throw so many projectiles. Best thing about Ganondorf is that the Warlock Punch with super armor never gets old to me. It catches people doing really stupid get-up attacks. It catches people who love just mashing the A button to get out of situations. It's just, it's never not funny to hit someone with that. I mean, for bad things about Ganondorf, I could say a lot of different things. You might think I'm gonna say his recovery. Nah, I'm gonna say that his run speed is my least favorite part about him. You can't punish a lot of things even if you read it just because you can't get there in time, which is super sad sometimes. Is it just me or is Mewtwo like one of the coolest looking and feeling characters in the game? He's like the strongest Pokemon of all time. He can like speak English instead of like Pokemon language, which is really random, but kind of cool. And he just has really strong explosive smash attacks that I just think make him look like one of the coolest characters in the game. Worst thing about him though is the tail hitbox. Pretty infamous, a lot of the time you look like you should never have gotten hit by a move, but because you're Mewtwo and you've got this giant tail in the way, you die to it. Is there anything more satisfying than reading someone's bad air dodge or spot dodge and hitting them with Roy's forward smash? It kills so early and it's so quick and it's just perfect for people who go for those big reads. My least favorite thing about Roy though is the average IQ of the Roy players online is even lower than my self-esteem. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like Chrom. I was really struggling to find something good about him. I mean, I guess it's good that he's OP against Amiibos and spirit battles, so you can you can cheese some wins in spirit battles just by spamming Chrom. Worst thing about him though is the Chrom side. It kills you at zero, it sucks you off the ledge, it's just cheese, and I hate it. The best thing about Game & Watch is that the side B, the hammer, the judge, it's just a great meme move. It's bad enough that you're not really going to see people using it seriously, but it is so funny when you get the 9, and some of the other options are actually pretty good as well. The worst thing about him though is that a lot of his smash attacks are just stupid, too good. I don't feel like being able to just spam smash attacks when you're nowhere near your opponent should be a good strategy in this game, but for Game & Watch, it is. Meta Knight has some insane combo potential, and just his ability to carry people all the way to the blast zone looks super swaggy. The worst thing about him though is that people spend their entire game just going for that combo starter, fishing for that one move, because it's really all he has a lot of the time, so you kind of have to do that. A lot of people, myself included, refer to Pit as the most honest character. Everything he has is pretty good with no glaring strength and no glaring weaknesses. Nothing OP, nothing frustrating. If I lose to a Pit, it honestly does feel like I've been outplayed by the player most of the time. So, that's something to like about him. On the other hand, dishonest moves are kind of what win you games in Smash, so playing honest is not really any way to win, so he's kind of hard to do well with because of this. Dark Pit's side B is kind of hilarious. The way you have to DI it is the complete opposite way to what you'd have to do to regular Pit. So, sometimes, uh, this happens. Apart from that though, he's kind of just worse than regular Pit because of the arrow. And so it's just another Echo Fighter that I don't really care about and I don't really want. Zero Suit Samus is so fast, she jumps really high. She just makes you feel like you're absolutely zooming around when you play her. And uh, she is pretty high on the waifu tier list, let's be honest here. Unfortunately, almost all her combos start with a neutral air. So people are just going to jump around spamming this for your neutral. When you play Wario, you never really feel like you're losing. Because you can always combo someone into your waft and it feels so satisfying getting that legendary comeback. The worst thing about him though is that when you're the one getting true combined into waft, that feels pretty bad. And it happens to me all the time because I play against little Z so much. Throwing someone into your C4 when you play Snake makes you feel like you're the biggest brain gamer in existence. Even if it's like the only good thing you've ever done as Snake, you, it just feels cool. Something I hate about Snake though is the Nikita on the recoveries. Sometimes it feels like he's just doing nothing sitting there with his rocket launcher and you're just desperately trying to get back and it's just not working out for you. I think Ike is really cool because he's actually quite unique in the game. He's the only sword fighter that's also a heavy. So that's actually pretty cool that he's got his own unique playstyle. Worst thing about him though is that playstyle is doing nothing but pressing neutral air. 
it links into everything and it's huge and it's safe and it's just stupid, really. This one's kind of weird, but my favorite thing about Squirtle is that he has some of the funniest animations and the funniest facial expressions in the whole game. You don't see it very often because he's so small, but if you pause and zoom in on Squirtle, you can just you can just see all the personality oozing out of him. It's it's really funny. My least favorite thing about him though is that he has a lot of big potential, but most players don't actually use him as much as the other two Pokémon, so he's a bit he's a bit overshadowed by the other two. The best thing about Ivasaur is that if you're a good person, you can just press down B and play a different character. The worst thing about him is everything else. You know, something about Charizard just makes me want to flare blitz off stage towards the blast zone, and I love it. I'm always a high percent when I change to him, and it just it just sets something off in my brain where I just go crazy. The worst thing about him though is that he lost his big old rock smash. That move was really funny in Smash 4, and I miss it. This video was getting way too long, so I decided to split it into two parts. So if you are excited to see the next part, please leave a like and a sub on the video, and I'll see you next time with the rest of the characters.